Okay, here's a quick summary of creating a border around an image. So if you open up Affinity Photo, so I'll show you a couple of different methods of doing it. Um, the first one is within the effects panel here, which is the outline option there. We'll come back to that in a moment. And the second one is actually extending the canvas and then filling that in with the color of your choice. So two different ways, but the difference basically is that, is that the outline method puts a border, uh, an edge into the picture. So it obscures parts of your picture. So it eats into your picture, so to speak. So if you've got subjects or objects very close to the edge, then you've obviously, obviously have to be mindful that you don't um, obscure those by putting a border very close to them or in fact going over the object. So for example, this man standing here on the right hand side, this silhouette, if I created a thick border here on the inside of the image, then of course there is a chance I could uh, a clip the shoulder of that uh, person depending on the thickness of the border of course but of course the other way of doing it is extending the canvas uh, and then creating a border on the outside of the image so therefore the actual um, resolution and integrity of the image remains so let's get on with it and i'll start by doing the first method which is the the easier of the two although they're both uh, pretty quick so we're starting off with this image got no border at all uh, so the first thing I want to do is make sure in my layers, I've got the layer selected, which I have, go into effects panel and we want an outline. So it's not called border, it's called an outline. So tick that. But again, as I've said before, if you click on the little gear icon, that pulls the layer effects panel out. So it's easier to see, um, particularly when you've got um, a small screen. Um, but by pulling it out, you've got all the options available. So we're in outline and we want full opacity of the border. We're not going to ch touch the size of the border just yet. But the key thing here is the alignment of the border. You want the border to be on the inside. It doesn't work if you put it on the outside because there's no canvas extended. And you don't want it in the center because that doesn't give you an accurate border either. You want it to be inside. So you change that to inside, first of all. And you do want it to be a solid color again, but we'll look at if you want to do something slightly different. And then, of course, what color border do you want? Because this particular image has got um, light colored sky, but in fact, the bottom third of the image, bottom quarter of the image is dark. So if I had a black border, actually wouldn't show up very well. So uh, for this particular image, the a white border would look better. So I want to change the color. So just click on the swatch and use whichever method of color selection you want to. I prefer this um, color wheel, but it's up to you. Just put in the color that you want. I want white and then then change the size by changing the radius. And as I do that live, you'll see the border changing. And as you can see, if I did it there, then when I zoom into that, you can see that the border isn't eating into the, the shoulder. But if I did make that border larger, that wouldn't be as good and wouldn't be acceptable, if you like. But that one would be OK. So let's just leave it, say, just there. And, and, that's, and that's essentially it. If you want to do sample an image to get uh, a border to a, a particular color, let me just center that image again. Then while you're still on the color swatch, You've got the little tip pipette, and if I just click and drag that and say, well, I want to use this blue from the sky as the sample color. It's now sampled it just by clicking and dragging it, and that sample color is sitting in that little uh, circle there. And you have to click that circle so that the, the blue that's selected will be the, the color itself that we've, um, we, we, that we've selected. So if I just do that again, select it. And then click that. OK, so that's now selected that particular color. And again, there's no reason why you can't tweak that 
color just by moving around let me just zoom in that and you'll see the color being tweaked just by moving that selection around okay so that's using that method let me center that image again if i want to do it the other method uh, so i'm going to deselect outline so now we're back to the starting image now the other method is by extending the canvas and so to do that we go to document resize canvas and more about this in a, in a in another video but what we want to do to resize the canvas you want it to be resized the same equal equal distance all the way around so you want the anchor point to be not in one of the corners but in the center so it's measuring from the center outwards and what it's saying currently is that the size is uh, 1700 pixels by 13 and 70, uh, 1373 pixels so i'm just going to add an extra 100 to each axis so if i just change the 7 to 8 and then I should have unlocked that 7 to 8 and let me just um, cancel that and just do it again so document resize document no uh, document and resize canvas get it right put it in the center anchor point unlock that because you want to make sure that um, the same number of pixels are added each side so I'm going to change add 100 pixels to that side so change it from seven to eight and a hundred pixels that side so that says one three seven three so if I change that to one four seven three so it's a hundred pixels both directions click on resize and that'll give you an exact same number of pixels added to each side of the um, image so that's now on the outside of it so if I zoom in there you can see that's where the shoulder gap was and that is extended on the outside so of course what we want to do now is to fill that in now to fill it in it's slightly different so you need to select that blank area first so we go to the select menu go to alpha range meaning the areas where there's an alpha channel uh, uh, the transparent channel and we want the partially transparent if you say fully transparent it will select all the transparent pixels there in the border but it might not get the edge perfectly right so if you select partially transparent it selects all the transparent pixels and also the neighboring ones which are partially transparent when you zoom right in you'll see those um, so that's been selected automatically now we want to fill it in and we just go to the edit menu at the top and we want to not in paint because in painting fills it in with like-minded pixels from the edge of the image that's great for extending the picture we want to put a mat inside of it a color and as soon as we click on that again it asks us what color it's already put white in by default but again if you click on that swatch you can do exactly the same again you can change it to whatever color you want move that wheel around change it to whatever color you want or as before use the um, uh, the picker and say I want you know that shade of yellow let's say in the sunset and then click that and then that picks that that's a bit garish but that's a bit it picks that particular color so that pro part of the process is exactly the same so the thing is now you've oh, let me just um, redo that let me just do that again so it's um, uh, select uh, I'll press the right button there um, and alpha range partially transparent um, edit matte and it's the last color that we used click apply I didn't do that did I so what I was going to say was you've got the selection still visible the marching ants quick way to do it, just press uh, the escape key on your keyboard that gets rid of the marching ants or you can go to select and then deselect and that deselects the um, the area that's um, that you've been working on but you can see here now uh, that's added to the uh, canvas not eaten into it so it isn't an issue how wide you have um, that border it will never interfere with the edges of your image okay 
So those are your true two methods of um, creating a border. Now, while we're here, uh, what I want to add to that is adding a um, key line into the border itself. So you don't do that with either of these two methods because you don't want a solid border, you want just a line. And there are more than ways and one ways of doing it, but if you click on the rectangle tool or the shape tool and choose the rectangle, because uh, if you click on the little uh, drop down uh, arrow, there are different shapes, but of course an image is um, uh, basically a, a rectangle. So we want to use that tool and then just draw a rectangle roughly where you want it don't worry about this the position of it just yet let's just say there of course what we don't want to have is a fill color in the rectangle we just want the edge so you click on the fill and we reduce the opacity of the fill so essentially we don't want any fill at all and then on the edge at the moment it's got no edge line but we do want an edge line so we click on that and then one pixel might not be thick enough so let's just to see let's make it uh, four pixels wide and um, there's all sorts of variations you can do here but let's just keep the line simple for now um, and again it asks you what color do you want the line okay um, at the moment the stroke is black and yes you could see the black stroke if I do a deselect um, you can see that key line that we've just created is black but there's no reason why you can't change the color of that key line. So if, if you just click on the um, move tool and then go to the layer because you create a new rectangle layer at the top. So make sure that layer is selected. Um, and then when you uh, uh, want to change the color of that uh, line itself, let's just zoom into it so you can see the color change. At the moment it's black, but if I click on that uh, color, that's the stroke color. Uh, I might want to make it um, what would stand out with yellow, um, you know, possibly red. So maybe make it a bright red and then I'm doing exactly the same thing and actually creating a colored key line. So if I make that full screen so you can now see if I click on the um, view tool so it gets rid of the um, the movement. The, the, the move tool handles you can see the key line of course that key line can be whatever color you want you can have multiple key lines but essentially a key line is a rectangle a shape on top of your image to fit around the image with just the edge showing uh, the key line not the actual um, um, just the stroke showing not the fill color itself okay you make that uh, uh, transparent and of course positioning it if we just click on the the move tool make sure the rectangles fit if i move that you move in the actual key line you're moving the um oh, uh, the transparent rectangle essentially and to make it fit exactly where you want it make sure that this magnetic um, snapping tool is switched on because if it's not switched on then you can move it freehand but of course that makes it a bit difficult to line it up where you want it but if you have the magnetic snapping tool on, it automatically snaps to the center point. Center point top and right and center point left and right. You can see those little guides that pop up and that tells you exactly that you've centered it both there and that side as well. Okay, so it's exactly at the right point and that's something that's worth remembering use the snapping to always leave that on really unless you're doing some fine freehand work and that way you've got a key line that's exactly um, where you want it to be okay so i hope that's helpful that's going over two ways of creating a border and also how to create a um, uh, a key line within the border or indeed within your picture there's no reason why that key line in fact we'll do it now if we click on the move tool there's no reason why that key line can't be inside of your image and just resize it there and then again if you move it you can snap it in place so it's in the center and so now the key line is uh, the red doesn't help it doesn't need, it needs to be perhaps white um, uh, but if I did change it to white it will stand out better there we go and so now you have a key white key line 
within the uh, image itself and not in the border you could put another one in the border adding another rectangle and that will be fine as well okay hope that's helpful have a go and um, share your results